All right, so we've got some mid-back, low-back, um, and it's been going on for a while. Let's start with what's the worst of all this? Yeah, the mid-back is uh, what's, I guess, bothering me. I pulled, felt, felt like I pulled a muscle, uh, like, from my scapula or, or my shoulder blade there and uh, in the back, and it uh, didn't seem to, it went away. Usually, I've done it before, and it goes away in a day or two, you know, mm -hmm. um, pain goes away, uh, but after that, it was just my mid back just seemed to be, you know, starting to hurt. You know, um, it would move. Pain would move from one side to the other side sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, um, sometimes it would go, it'd be a little bit higher. Sometimes it'd be a little bit lower. Uh, lower back seems to be, you know, nagging me a lot lately. Um, uh, a couple years ago, or a few years ago, I started uh, working out again, and you know, uh, at first, you know, back lower back was hurt. Mid back never hurt, so I never had any problems with that until just like okay. in December. Mm -hmm. Started in December about when I pulled that muscle. So, uh, but the low back has been, you know, it's been kind of a thing for, you know, since I was, I guess, about 25, 30 years uh, playing playing softball, really practicing, bending over, picking up, you know, uh, picking up ground balls. And went home at night and went to bed and woke up next morning, could not get out of bed. Do you have the low back pain every day? Right now it's nagging, yeah. And every once in a while, if I just, if I do the wrong thing, you know, it'll it'll uh, uh, it'll flare up to a point where it's like sometimes it's a little worse than, than others. You know, I stay away from the anti-inflammatories. I don't like taking anything. Mm -hmm. You know, um, just just don't like what they. You know, I suppose it does something to your liver. I think I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Um, but you know, I stay away from them unless I absolutely have to. You know, if I have to go to work and I just can't. You know, if I'm you know, sometimes kind of twisted up. And I used to be able to used to be able to pop my back down here at, you know, a long time ago, I can't do it anymore. Okay. All right, have you ever had any pain that goes down your legs? Not until just recently. Um, right Which now leg? Uh, the right leg, and my, my hamstring and right leg are, is tight. You know, I can't, usually I can, when I do like hurdle stretches, I can forehead to my knee. Um, at least I can get to that point eventually. Uh, left, left is good, but the right is tight. Okay, any other major accidents or injuries that you can recall? No, never had any. No hospitalizations for anything? Yeah, I had uh, had surgery on my left hand, broke bone, a couple burns in my hand. Okay. That was uh, when I was like 17 years old. It was a lawnmower accident. To be honest with you, yeah. Um, there was this big hill. Okay, uh, I said, "Later, how are we supposed to you know, push mowers? How are we supposed to do this hill?" And he got a kind of run and start from the parking lot and went halfway up the hill and come back down. Man, you're 17, man. You can do a lot of stuff, you know. So we got that hill done, except for the last pass. There was a big bush at the top. So I got it. So I stopped halfway, grabbed onto the railing. And went to push the lawnmower up and it folded up on me so and i as a reaction backed away and you know it was a pretty steep hill so i it sl kind of slipped and my head was headed for it and i was like it was a reaction i went like this and my hand went right through the blade like that so i was lucky didn't lose no fingers you know got it. you ever have any dizziness no nah. mm -mm. lightheadedness no. you've been adjusted once but it's a long time ago we're going to start off with an exam. Let's see what your spine says, and then when we get to the adjustment, I'll walk you through it. We'll practice one first, and then we'll get you adjusted, and we'll see what your spine says, okay? okay. All right, now, all right, a little bit of a high left shoulder. That's okay. Stand up nice and tall, then just try to stand up straight. I'm going to observe postural sway right here. Just very small micro movements in your posture. Got a little bit of a lateral sway there coming forward now. Okay, close your eyes. And then backwards. Back lateral, lateral again. Okay, you can are like a little bit decreased arch on the right. All right. A little high on the right. All right, very gentle scan on the top of your spine. So you don't have any neck pain ever? No headaches? Yeah, yeah, I got a little bit. So on the on the piece left paper. shoulder yeah uh -huh. but it, it kind of goes up in there uh, now that's moved a little bit too started doing that on the other side all right I'm gonna push into your spine here nice and gentle I'm not pushing hard just trying to feel the condition of the muscles that tender right there mm, not really How about this side yeah same, they're the same yeah, left and right. Mm -hmm. Okay, testing your SI joint. There's this is some swelling here. It's right. You feel this? Yep. 
Well, um, as far as pain, but yeah. Is that tender? It's kind of knotty. Nah, not really. Is this one tender? Nah, a little bit maybe. Good. Any tenderness, discomfort, tension? Mm -hmm. Nah. Left or right? Right. Right. Hmm. Left. Maybe I had a dislocated rib or something for a while. Mm -hmm. Here, let's check the rib heads. Now, you would know if you had a dislocated rib head, yeah. it would hurt every breath. Really? Well, there's definitely some asymmetry here in the lower left lumbar. So we're going to see what this is like here. The, the pain's in your right leg, though. It's, it's, uh, so it's in both, but today, and I guess for, I don't know, last week or so, it's been on the left a little. Mm -hmm. But it's going back and forth. Yeah. So this pain in your legs is going back and forth, and this pain in your shoulder is going back and forth. Uh, yeah, it'll, right. It's actually a good thing when it goes back and forth. It means the body's compensating. So it's like you're feeling a, a, a tension shift rather than feeling mm -hmm. an injury or injured tissues that need healed. But your low back has been like this for a much longer time. Did you play sports as a kid? Yeah, you know. Would, would you play football? Uh, I did play football for a little bit uh, in high school, but uh, when my mother found out, <laughs> she wouldn't, you know, that stopped. Yep, good mom. She knew. There's definitely some tension here, some trigger points, some knots. Your low back is a little colder, a little bit more moist than the rest of your spine. This is all pretty uniform and even. We definitely have some upper neck, like this is where your neck, your cervical thoracic transition mm -hmm. here in this area. We've got some work to do. There's a little bit of a postural change here, but it's not bad. You're nice and straight up and down. There's no curvatures to the left or right. I don't think that you have any herniated discs or pinched nerves down here that's causing that mm -hmm. uh, from what I can feel so far. So it's good. Okay, first I'm gonna center you on the table. Lots of exam stuff still to do. I'm just gonna just, I'm gonna use my hands to feel the general condition of your spine and to straighten you out on the table and to look at a couple different things. We're still far away from the adjustment. I'll let you know before we get to that, okay? Mm -hmm. Good, there is a slight rotation in your spine. I can see a little bit more that you're laying down. Feels like the rib cage on the right here is like kind of like rotated like this. Oh. <clears throat> but you know, no one's perfectly symmetrical, Gary. No. Everyone's asymmetrical. It didn't make a difference. For 65 million years, mammals walked around on the uneven ground, uneven terrain. It wasn't until the last couple thousand years that we started to pave all the surfaces and make everything flat on the inside of our houses. That was a good pop right there. Mm -hmm. Did you feel that? Does that happen on its own ever? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Okay. I, when, I'm, I can, when I'm sitting up, I can like, like turn my back and I can feel on the right side Oh, uh, yeah. sounds like a bag of bones, you know what I'm saying? Right yeah, here. that was down here, though. This is, that was in your sacrum. Yeah, and this, what I'm talking about is like in the... Uh, Up here. In the thoracic. All right, let's, t let's test this again. Any tenderness, discomfort here? A little bit. Good, any tenderness, discomfort here? No. Nah. All right, I'm going to push down into your sacrum here. Do you have any pain, discomfort? Yeah. How about the left side? It's kind of like in the center. But here you can feel it underneath my hand? No, actually. Is it higher it's, up? Yeah, it's like in the, well, it's in the center between the two. Oh, okay. What about here? Any yeah, pain? right there. Yep. Here. A little bit, yep. A little bit, but not as much? Not as much. L5. All right, so let's take a look here. I'm going to test left to right. What do you think? Left or right? What do you feel more? I guess right. Okay. Right lumbar. All right, so let's do this. Keeping your knee straight, lift this leg in the air. Okay, down. Left lumbar. So, uh, no, okay, sorry, go ahead. Yep. Down. Okay, so the right lumbar, even though that's where it's tender, that seems to be okay. This is the one that's not firing on the left. Oh. So we'll see here. Let's try that one more time, right? Definitely. Down. Now I'm going to bend your knees. Just try to let this relax here. 
I'm gonna bend your knees right now. We've got right short. I'm gonna bend this. Don't let. Don't help. Let me do it. Right short. Balance out. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna put a block underneath of your hips here. Now left side. All right, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna push down into your sacrum again. Mm -hmm. Do you still feel that same tension, discomfort in the no. center? No. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna come up to the L5. Let's see. Do you still feel it there? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. It's okay to still feel it there, but we've taken the tension out of your sacrum. So when I first looked at your leg length, the right one was short. Mm -hmm. And then I put the blocks underneath of it, and it evened the le it evened the legs, hmm. but it also took away the tension from that right SI joint mm -hmm. when I pushed down into it. So that tells me you don't really have a short leg; you just have like a twist in your hips. Yeah. All right. So this is an instrument here. This helps loosen up your spine. Now that you're up on the blocks, I'm going to use this to stimulate your brain, to try to stimulate some muscle memory in your nervous system to try to remember this position. The blocks take tension out of the meningeal system. The meninges are the covering of the brain and the spinal cord. And so if we can take, uh, if we can take tension out of those coverings, then it takes tension out of the nerves themselves. this mid-back stuff seems to be coming down to two muscles. Number one is the levator scapula, this one up here. Mm -hmm. And this is the one that actually goes up your neck. And you, you point to the exact path of that muscle. And then you have some rhomboid tension too. It's actually with the lower rhomboid, rhomboid major, which is not common. But, but you have it almost equally on both sides. As a matter of fact, it was more tender on the right when I was pushing into those muscles. But you don't have any ribs out, which is good. It just seems like your rib cage is rotated. So we're gonna correct that right. at the end. All right, you ready to get adjusted, sir? Oh yeah. All right, we've got a couple things to work on here. So we're gonna start in the middle. We're gonna practice this one first. Go and take a deep breath in, and out through your mouth. I'm gonna follow your breath down like this, and at the end of your breath, I'm gonna push like that, okay? Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try that one again. Deep breath in, out. Good one. Good, good, good. good. There's still one down there though. We'll have to go back. All right, now, top of the spine. Same thing. I'm going to lower the headpiece down just a little bit like that, Gary. Okay, same thing. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good. Sinking. Good. Not quite. Not quite. There's still more there. This is a tough one. It's all the way at the top. Okay, we're gonna try it a little bit different this time. Take another deep breath in and out. Better. Now, reach 
checking. Okay, one more, a little bit different this time. We're gonna bring your head over to the side like this, Garrett, and just kind of like sink in. Good, letting the head relax, good. Oh, there we go. Whew. <clears throat> that was big, that was big stuff. Yeah. That one felt like it maybe never moved ever. Felt good, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Oh. It's like if you had a, it's like if you had a cup of water and mm -hmm. a stick in it, and you pulled the stick out of it. Versus it was a cup of like mud mm -hmm. or a cup of snow. You know what I mean? Like, I felt like I pulled that out of a cup of concrete. Oh, wonderful. All right, we're gonna move down to this guy here now. This one's a little bit different. Uh, this time, let's practice it. You're gonna take a deep breath in all the way in, and then as you breathe out that's when we at the top of your breath is when we push down on that one okay okay all right hold on let me just get a bearing here again okay deep breath in and out All right, so we're gonna do this one here on the right side. Good, shoulders coming up like this. Take a deep breath in, and out. Good, shoulders coming up. Better bring the hip down a little bit. Oh, good, lay on your back. Okay, good. That was just the compensation side. This is the lumbar here, this is the actual issue. This is what you injured all those years ago. This is what was hurt. Okay, turn your answer facing that way. Good, good. L4, L5. Good, we're gonna bring this in. We're gonna push in this direction like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, we're gonna bring the hip down just a little bit more. Another breath, gently soft breath. Good, good. Oh, lay on your back. I felt that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. This is how we check the neck. Go and turn to the right. Turn, oh, turn my head, turn to, your head right. to the right. Okay, good. Center. Left. Center. Again, turn to the right. Center. And to the left. Center. Left or right? Uh, or same. Same. So there's a couple of things to adjust up here. We need to adjust your, let this relax here. But we need to adjust the left side here first. All right, let me do one more range of motion test. I'm gonna pick up your head like this, good. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna start on the left side. I'm gonna bring your head over to like right here, Gary. Mm -hmm. And then from here, we're gonna push in this direction like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice and gentle. Let your shoulders sink in and, and just let it all go with your breath. You're doing good, you're nice and relaxed actually. Good, little push here. Ooh, boy, yeah, that felt good. Yeah, that was good. That was, that was a big one. All right. Let's test the right side first and see where it needs to adjust. Seven, six, five, four, three, two is all in the middle. Five, six, probably. Seven, six, five, four. Five, six. Actually, five, six. 
Okay, nice and gentle breathing. We're gonna sink in here and bring you down. Good. Mm. Nope. Not all of it again. No. It's good. Your neck is in pretty good shape. It doesn't need massive adjustments because you've got all this range of motion here. It's good. Does your neck crack by itself? Uh, sometimes I can do it. I shouldn't be, but I guess. No, no, it's okay. Now you're nice and good shape. Okay, so one more gentle, gentle. We're gonna give this one a little bit of a push here, four and five. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Well, I felt that on the left side. All right, I'm gonna adjust your ankle now. I'm gonna pull down in this direction like that, okay? We'll start with the iliocecal valve. This is a window between the here. Bring your hands down to here. Okay. Here, let them tuck them in. This is the window between the large and the small intestine. Go ahead and find the, um, the navel here. ASIS here. Connect those two points. This is where we start to look for the window. Yours feels okay. Did you eat anything yet today? Mm, actually, uh, I'd had some nuts a little while ago. So I usually only eat one meal a day. Really? Yeah. Which one? Uh, dinner. It was two, but I do intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. You have your diaphragm's in good shape, too. You have the diaphragm of an opera singer, to be honest with you. Oh, Lord, you I have this one opera Was that no? I do. I have this one opera singer, but this is what his diaphragm is. Got, really? got It's the barrel chest. So I can whistle. And uh, so I'm a county champ three years in a row. No, I'm joking. <laughs> We should do a pre ring dinger whistle and then a, a post ring dinger whistle and see if we increase the decimal. <laughs> All right, your arms are in a good place right there, Gary. I'm going to use this towel to support your cervical spine and the tip of your head. Down. Good. All you have to do is breathe. Just like the other adjustments, I'm following your breath. Good. Nice deep breath in. No. Good. And sinking in, just letting it all go. We're going to do that one more time. In. No. Oh, 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 oh. Lordy. Good. Breathe. Wow. Felt that. Mm -hmm. mm. Man, oh, man. All the way down or what? All the way down. Mm -hmm. mm. Boy, I was waiting for that. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna pop the table up underneath your head like this. Good. Drops now in the lumbar. Do five deep breaths here. Deep breath in. Out. Good. In. Out. And out. Squeeze your shoulder blades back together. Look up at the ceiling. Good. Now, you're rotated just a little bit to the right, so we're going to come like this. Good. All right, shake that out a little bit. Take a couple steps. All right, ah, uh, high right, high right. Okay, lay on your back now. You're, you're okay, just tilt it like this, so we're going to push it in this direction. Really? This is the broken one, right? Yeah. Let this relax. Yeah, let that relax. Let this go. Let that go. There you go. I mean, it wasn't that instant anyway. You're one of the most crackiest 60 year olds I've ever adjusted. <laughs> it's good. It means that you have good joint motion, really? good joint lubrication. Yeah. You've maintained it. Around the front here and hold on to this. Good. Okay, this one here.
I feel like you should invest in robot lawnmowers. I feel like that's the karmic <laughs> thing that I'm getting from you. Yeah, because they can just go up and down the hills. That's what I need. I got an acre and a quarter <clears throat> to mm-hmm. cut. Mm-hmm. Just, we just put the robot out there. You tell it where to go, it just keeps doing it, then it goes back to its charge port when it's ready. Then you can spend your time building the what? What do you do? You build? Uh, well, I got too many irons in fire, but uh, got a couple of motorcycles, you know, um, mm-hmm. trying to do some work to the house. Mm-hmm. But, uh, What's your oldest motorcycle? Uh, it's 02. 2002 Road King. Mm-hmm. How many miles is that on it? Um, about 119. I'm sorry, uh, 19,000. Oh, 19? I think 100. Yeah, 19,000. 19 or 119? No, 19. Okay, that's awesome. And you're working on it? That is it? Well, I took it apart, uh, and it's like everything is chrome. So I don't know if you had anything that was a lot of chrome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And once you start cleaning it, it's like, hey, wait a minute, you know? Never ends. How's that feel right there? Mm-hmm. Pretty good. All right, let's see. Stand up. Move around a little bit. Let's take it for a test drive. Maybe bend down, touch your toes. Good, good flexibility. So tight a little bit, but on my leg, you know, but... Where in your leg? Hamstring. For some reason, it's always been... Mm-hmm. Any pain in your hamstring just from here? Mm-hmm. Any pain in your hamstring like this? A little bit tight. Touch tightness. It gets tight. Let's do this. I'm going to bring this leg up like this. Is it the same as over here? No. It's more on the right? Yeah, more on the right. So let's do this. All right, you're going to push your leg down towards me, okay? Mm-hmm. Go ahead, push. Good. Good strength there. Good, 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 good. Now relax. Good. Okay, now push again. Good. Push, 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 push. Relax. Good. Look at that. Good. A couple more times. Push. Push, 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 push. Relax. Good. Okay, again, push. Push, 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 push. Relax. We certainly don't have any decreased strength. Okay, one more time. Straighten your knee. Good. And push. Push, 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 good. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Good, relax. Does it hurt? No, no, it's just tight. It's just a little bit here. Yeah, it's a little bit more fluid, but but it feels like hamstring, not like sciatica. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do this. Do a sit up here. Swing your legs off the window. Did you feel it in your lower back that time? Uh, feel better? Yeah, it felt better. Yeah. Getting up? Yeah. Yeah, it felt better. Okay, good. All right. Um, all right, great adjustment. Everything that we needed to adjust, adjusted today. So okay. we got everything accomplished that we wanted to get accomplished. Um, I think with that decompression and, and a couple side postures, it'll definitely improve your recent low back situation. I think it's been, you know, how it's increased recently. Uh, but it's been there for a long time, yeah. obviously. So. Yeah. The key always is everyday stretching, drinking enough water, and taking care of your posture. Mm -hmm. The good thing is, is that number one, is that you're in great shape and your spine is pretty symmetrical. Number two, is that you're moving every day for a living. You're not going to go sit at a desk, which is great. I feel like your hamstring is just a part, this tightness in the back is just a part of what we adjusted in your hips today. So I would expect to see that improve, even just from this one visit. And you don't need a million chiropractic adjustments or anything like that, but I would do one follow-up with you in a month. Okay. Um, we could do a 30-minute appointment. I don't feel like I need a whole hour because I okay. did all the exam stuff, but 30 minutes would be enough time to give you a full spine adjustment, all your extremities, and do a decompression, Gary. Okay. No, no bring dinner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, and I, I would say let's just take it one visit at a time, but I, okay. I have a feeling that you're going to know – your bot, you have good body intuition. You know you've mm-hmm. been an athlete, mm-hmm. and you're obviously tracking your symptoms pretty specifically with timing of them and severity mm-hmm. of them. So that tells me that you're paying attention to your body. Um, and usually, people who pay attention, they'll know. They'll, you'll be able to see the results as we go along. Okay. Um, so it shouldn't take us too long. I okay. think like two or three visits, and you'll be better. Okay. Um, yeah. So do you think that you say 
sciatica seemed to be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think that you have any pinched nerves in your low back. I think that you did at one point. Uh, it did feel like that L5, the one that I adjusted, mm -hmm. uh, the very bottom of your mm -hmm. L5, that seemed like it was indicative of maybe some old disc injuries or some old disc scar tissue mm -hmm. in there. You know, it was deeper in the way that it felt. But that's a long time ago. You know, discs can herniate, and you can still have a functional disc after that. It just lost the water from the inside of the disc. Yeah. Um, so it's not herniated now, and it's probably not even bulging now, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't feel like it's pushing on any nerves. It doesn't okay. feel like you have a pinched nerve anywhere. Okay. Your right leg feels a lot like hamstring tightness. It yeah. feels like your pelvis, and it feels musculoskeletal not neurological, okay. which is much easier to fix. Right. That's why it's only going to take a couple of visits. Okay. Very That's nice to meet you today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think I'm subscribed. Cool, man. Yeah. yeah, make sure you subscribe, too. Okay. Cool. We're close to her.